installments one and two of Bear Witness Take Action were striking examples of people galvanized by a movement and eager to make change. Evan's episode is an ideal addition to Bear Witness Take Action 3. Evan, thank you so much for joining us for this conversation. I can't wait to get into this with you. So glad to be here. You went from music to gaming. Yep. How did you get to being an animator? I started writing books in rhyme. Um, with inspirational kind of children's books elements, and, and they kind of sat there, and I would, I would perform them. Nothing happened, and uh, eventually life happened. We ended up having some, some struggles in the 2008, 2009 crash. I was babysitting, doing anything to stay around, and I was like, how can I build a business like to get my stuff out there? And, and I thought, you know, YouTube is really a platform with like an infinite ceiling, you know, and no one needs to know who you were or where you came from as long as you put out good stuff. So for me, that was like, that's the inspiration I needed. So I was like, once I build this, I've always been a fan of gaming, um, then I can do all my other stuff. And so it's kind of funny how 10 years later, after building the gaming channel, uh, YouTube reaches out, hey, do you have anything? We're doing this series. And I, I just, I threw them this book on a whim. They were like, hey, let's talk tomorrow. And so you created this film with YouTube. Yeah, so I wrote it. It was a children's book. It is a children's book. Yeah. And YouTube said, we want it. We want to animate it. And so they beat me to the actual book. I haven't even published the book yet, <laughs> uh, but um, it was so cool. And then, and then Sterling got attached and he said, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to narrate it. Um, and he brought everything that he does, which is just phenomenal. It took it up another notch. So that's amazing. Uh, it so, was just surreal. When you wrote the book, yeah. you know, what was your goal? What kind of, you know, created that for you? I've always been a fan of how simplicity. And I think, you know, when you, when, you know, as a music fan, it's like sometimes the rhymes that are simple really relate to the most people. And mm -hmm. they, they have the biggest impact because you can put your own story on them. They're not so complicated that you have to think of someone else. You can apply it to your life. So I've always thought children's books and, and fairy tales have yes. this weird, interesting way of for parents reading them and the kids to teach these big things yes. that matter in life yeah. without being too complicated. Yes. If I can encourage that dynamic to take place and then use my imagination, that's the impact I want to make on the world, right? Yeah. And God so I feel you. like that was that was really the, the the reason I started doing it. We talk about super zero powers, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Talk, what, what would be the su super zero power that you would have? For me, honesty. I feel like you could just have this level of honesty that breaks somebody down and that tends to be who I am I'm honest almost to a fault oh so where God. people are like dang like you know my you know my I my parents that. maybe didn't love me I, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> now that you think about it I you know and I think that would like throw a villain off like dang you know cuts to the cord so I think that would be a fun one for me I love that yeah I love that. honesty I love that yeah. that's great so what was the message that you wanted uh, people to take away from you know um, Super zeros. I, that's a it's a great question. I, I think to me it, it's about if people can understand that the the power in their life lies within them. Oh. Mm -hmm. They can understand that everything that they need isn't outside; it's inside, and and they champion that and really just work to say, let me be the best version of myself. I think that's. And in my experience in my life, you know, I didn't come from crazy financial security, but I had a lot of inner self-security. Mm. And I feel like that is a lesson from parents to pass to kids, and I think from kids to grow up with, means that no matter what situation you go in, you always feel secure, like, you know, you're powerful. Man, that would be very powerful. Like, oh, man, that is, that's we amazing. need that. I we appreciate need that. it, man. And how, how like, how would you like to see change in the community? I've always thought about this in a big way because I'm very focused on, on impacting people in a big, big way in society and whatever I can. Sometimes we have these big focuses, but we don't touch any of those big elements because we're like, well, when I'm rich and famous, I can have an impact. It's like, yeah. you can have an impact right now, every day. Yes. Come on, Black Panther. Come on now. <laughs> yes, Come on now. I, I really <laughs> thank you so much, Evan. Thank Everything you, you said was yeah. so inspired. We thank appreciate you, you yeah. for joining us. Yeah, thank thank you. you for joining us, man. Appreciate it, man.